In tvOS 26, Apple saw fit with the Apple TV to basically force you to go through the profile selection menu every time you wake up or power up your Apple TV. And I know I and I think some others have found this change, this force change initially, to be quite annoying. Well, in later versions now of tvOS 26, there is an option to actually disable the profile selection so you don't have to go through the extra screen just to get into content this is particularly useful if say like in our household you may have multiple profiles on your apple tv but by and large you usually use one of them the majority of the time uh, all of our family members have a profile of course because they have apple accounts but generally speaking it's my profile is the one that we really all kind of watch content under and use on the apple tv so I am very gracious for the ability to bypass the extra step of having to always just select the profile that we generally want to get to anyway. There is now a toggle in settings to disable the profile selection on startup. So I wanted to make this video real quick to basically show how to find and how to use that setting and get rid of that extra step required to make using the Apple TV a little more uh, quicker, easier, and more efficient. So let's take a look. Right, I'm going to go ahead and start up my Apple TV here with the, the default setting where this selection requirement is, of course, turned on. And as the Apple TV does start up, we see we're instantly taken to this profile selection screen. Now, I do like the concept of profiles in Apple TV and tvOS. I wish they would actually make them even more powerful than they already are. But in any case, if you want to turn this off, let's take a look how to do it. So I'm going to select my profile, which, again, is the one that we're using basically 90% of the time so to find this toggle to find this option i am going to go into settings the settings app on my apple tv and i am of course running the latest version of tvOS 26. i'm going to go to profiles and accounts and we can see the second option right there is the one we're looking for choose profile on wake by default this is going to be turned on and i am going to turn it off now i don't know if it's a beta thing you're noticing here this thing is kind of clicking and it's not actually changing i think there's maybe a little bit of a bug happening here with tvOS but in any case there we go it went from on to off and the other thing that I would basically suggest that you do in conjunction with this is specify who you want your default profile to be and then that will be the one that is logged into with the Apple TV as well of course there are some other settings and stuff around uh, profiles that you can take advantage of but this is the key one to make operating your Apple TV much faster and more efficient so so let's demonstrate how this works. Uh, from here, I'm gonna go back to my Apple TV home screen. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to power the unit off, basically put it to sleep. We'll give it a second and then I will start it back up. There we go, no HDMI signal, we're powered off. I'm starting back up. We have the reestablishment of the signal. And as we come back up now, we're back to the home screen and we have successfully bypassed the profile selection option. Pretty nice. So that is how you disable the profile selection menu in the new Apple TV tvOS 26 versions. Again, I strongly suggest you do this if you're generally always using uh, one profile out of a few or many that you may have selected or available to you within your household. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, I appreciate the opportunity to uh, engage with you and win some of your business. I am a dealer, integrator, reseller for a whole bunch of audio, video, and home theater brands, including kaleidoscapes, uh, projectors, televisions, uh, audio gear, receivers, processors, amplifiers, uh, video gear as well, again, projectors, TVs, screens, subwoofers, racks, power management systems, all kind of stuff. If you're working on a system, you'd like to upgrade your home theater, I'd love to talk with you, consult, give my opinion. And if you like my content, you find it useful, valuable, inspiring, and educational, I'd love the opportunity to win your business. Email me, jeremy at techthusiasm.net or go to www.techthusiasm.com. My business information is there as well as a contact form. If you'd like to help me in a simpler way, of course, there are affiliate links in the description of all my videos and on my webpage to stores like Amazon, Target, Walmart, Audio Advice, Crutchfield, Monoprice, eBay, Home Depot, Dick's Apparel Stores, and more. Check them out. Please use those. If you're buying Teslas or Tonals, I have links to those as well. Always much appreciated. It doesn't cost you anything, but of course, it's a benefit to the channel here and everything that I'm trying to do for you. Thank you to all the channel members. I welcome other folks to be channel members as well and my appreciation for any super thanks and PayPal Venmo tips that you may leave. Please do that regular YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, leave a comment. Do you use this feature? Do you use the profile selections? Do you use profiles often on your Apple TV or not? Uh, and please use that new YouTube hype feature 
as well. Thanks for watching and coming back for more home theater discussion and fun.